Let's talk about ARSP migration. So, with Microsoft Teams rooms and neat devices, we are moving to a new way how the devices authenticate. So, taking away from Company Portal, which is Android Device Administrator, moving it over to Microsoft Intune and Authenticator, which is a modern way of authenticating using AOSP, so the Android open source platform. Let's have a quick look at what we've got. So Microsoft have written a overview guide on what you need to do, what you need to do beforehand. So you may already have this in place. You may have already created your enrollment profile token, and you may have already also added in your compliance policies if needed. So making sure devices aren't rooted, uh, etc. on there. Make sure devices are encrypted so everything is secure on your network. So that may be done already. And then also you've got to make sure obviously the firmware is available, which will be available soon in Teams Admin Center. And then we head update. So let's just double check all these. So we can also have a document within the neat support site. So again, this video will be placed on here. So you search for AOSP. And again, it's got the step-by-step -step guides, a couple of videos, and then also this video will be on here as well. A couple of FAQs on here. So what do we need to do? Within Teams App and Center, I can go into my device, go to my health, and I can see I have an available update. Now, what's different here is it shows AOSP. Previously, it would have shown Company Portal, so now I know I have an AOSP migration to do. This prerequisite links take you back to that Microsoft documentation, so you're able to go and review that again if you want. So as long as you've got everything in place, you hit update. Now, these are all manual updates. Automatic updates are disabled for now, so we can customers get this right and get it updated. With a neat bar, neat bar 2, neat bar pro, or even a neat board paired with a pad, you must do this twice. So then we jump back to Android, we go to touch consoles, and we go to our room, and we go to updates, and we simply select the update. So once we have that update going, we can then see under the history that it's queued and ready to go. Don't forget, if you've got a Teams panel outside the room, exactly the same step. Go into the firmware, push the firmware out to that Teams panel. So how do we monitor it, say, from Intune and uh, Endpoint Management? So we can see the device here. It's listed. And we can go through into the... So this is under Users, Devices. And we can see the device. And we go to Hardware. And we can see it's on Android Device Administrator. All these properties will get updated through that migration. And I can show you the logs on that once we get going. How do we know what's happening remotely? We can simply use the power of Neat Pulse, native built into the devices, to remotely control. So I can go into a device, hit remote control. Device will have approval now. So this is a free tool within the Neat platform. So having Neat Pulse access to your devices anywhere in the world, you don't have to be on the same network, etc. And we get to see the controller and the front of room screen. So you've got full control of what's happening in that room. So what we can do, for example, remotely, we can even check to make sure the room is empty. Even though I've booked it out for ASP migration, you can check that the room is ready and it's ready to go for the meeting for your uh, booked out session to migrate it. So we know the device is all good and then we will carry out the migration. Also, as part of the migration, we will also update the Teams app. So if you're not on the latest Teams app, the latest application will be bundled on there as well. So you're fully up to date, and that's whether inside the room or outside the room on that Teams panel. It's a very useful tool to help see what you're doing. And once it's ready, so uh, again, you can use the Neat Pulse uh, monitoring platform to see the migration happening. But in the background, it downloads the software from Teams App Center, it unpacks it, applies it, and then does a reboot. And then it does the migration. So... Once the device is back online in Pulse, we can see it. So we'll come back shortly and we can see it. what's happening. So within Neat Pulse, we can see it is updating already. So if we jump back to Teams uh, Admin Center, we go to our device, and we go to History, we can see it's in progress. But with Neat Pulse, we can see a lot more detail. So we can see it's actually downloading the update, and it will apply that and then it'll restart. So again, using the Pulse is a great tool to see exact visibility on what's happening in the room. So once the download is done, it then basically unpacks that package, that firmware image, and applies it. So after the application of the update has been done, it then sends a reboot command to your devices. So both the pad and the controller will reboot. And at that point, as part of the reboot, that's where it will A, 
I'd install Company Portal. Then B, install the applications of Intune and Authenticator, and then put your credentials back in. So then the device will come back up and you'll have nothing to worry about. And we'll do a test call afterwards as well. That's all that should be needed to be done in the migration process. So again, using the Pulse helps you monitor these devices remotely if you're not in the same building. So now it is doing the AOSP migration. You get the bars come back online. It's finishing the AOSP migration, as you see in the bottom there. So there's a little bit of text. So it's done a lot of work in the background. So what's happening now is making sure it's got the right settings, registering to Intune and updating those pieces. So there we go. You can see the bar has now completes that task and the pad will be along there shortly afterwards. So you can see it's just doing that update still. So the pad will take a few minutes longer and then go through the exact same process. We'll do that migration piece and then be ready and it'll repair automatically. So we'll come back in a few minutes and see this. So again, we can come in and see the device in action and we can see what's happening on the pad. It's running this migration. So you can see at the bottom again, it's got that migration Microsoft Teams AOSP. So this is running the latest 25.1.1 Teams application. So it's the same as what you get in the stable channel, but just with AOSP enabled. So there you can see Microsoft Intune has been installed. And there we have Authenticator installed now. And we're now finalizing this migration. So now it's starting the latest Teams application. And it's going to repair with the front of room device. And as you can see there, the icons came off that front of room device because the, the two devices are in sync and it's told on the pad not to have the front of room icons because this is not a touchscreen. And there we have our AOSP migration. And now let's just do a test call. And there we have our device back up and running. And again, if we want to go and check the AOSP migration has been successful. Remember, we can then go to the more device settings. And we go to Teams. And we can see it's got Authenticator and Intune on the pad. And if we scroll to the bar, we also have Authenticator and Intune. So that's all looking very good. So the only other final test is that we can jump back to Teams Admin Center, go back to our device, and we can see we're running Authenticator and Intune on here. And this is on our bar, and then we jump to our touch console, touch console, and again, we can see we have Authenticator and Intune. And then our next check again is actually here we have the device, we can refresh this. So within Intune, we can see what the device is running. As you can see, it's updated. So it doesn't create another entry in Intune, it replaces it. But if we were to go to our devices, Android, and search for Jupyter, you can see we now only have AOSP. So the other thing to note is that with AOSP, it marks the device as corporately owned. So no need to add the serial numbers to make it a corporate identifier. So that's a nice little feature uh, in there. So again, we'll get to see everything in there. The other way of checking things is within the, port the Azure portal. We can look at audit logs from the devices. So to, uh, need to go to devices and then audit logs. And we can see here for the Jupyter room, we can see some modified properties. So it's moved from uh, Android to Android AOSP. So again, you know exactly what it is done. And that is it. That is our AOSP migration. Very simple to do. Push the update from Teams App and Center and you've got your device running AOSP device registrations or device management. Any questions, let me know.